Welcome to the 30 day static standing balance challenge. Let's jump in and get started. Welcome to day 10. It is fantastic that you are showing up working on something that can be so, so frustrating and yet you keep coming back. Here on day 10, you're a third of the way through this challenge. Now, because balance requires practice, practice on your own, repeating videos, we're going to go ahead and jump back to day seven. Practice with me and know even though it might be frustrating, you are amazing for being here. First, let's review that setup. You're either at a wall or a corner backing up all the way till your heels, your buttocks, your shoulders, your hands, everything touches your surface, your boundaries. Go ahead, take a small step forwards. So you are one to two inches away with boundaries around you for safety first. Number one, establishing our default position. Feel those boundaries, make sure you know where they're at. We let go and we focus on that default position, that center, bringing our center of gravity down into the middle of our base of support. So just focus with me. If we are on that mud, imagine those footprints. Imagine where the pressure is. The pressure is not in our heels. It is not in our toes. It's also not laterally on one foot or the other. We are centered on the mud. Our footprints are sinking down evenly on all sides. So just focus with me for another 30 seconds. Fantastic job. We established that default position. Number two, let's do those ice cream cones. So make sure you know where your boundaries are at and we are making a circle, okay? We are keeping our body straight, bringing the weight onto the heels, the left foot, the toes, the right foot, and then the heels. We are making a circle with the pressure on the bottom of our feet. Everybody's gonna go at their own pace and we're gonna do that start stop. If I say stop, hold that position. All right, here we go. Keep your body straight. Bring the pressure around your feet into a circle. Stop, hold that position. Start. Stop. Hold that position. <clears throat> Start. Stop. Hold that position. Start. You're making a circle, keeping your body straight. Stop, hold that position. Start. Stop, hold that position. Start. Stop, hold that position. Start, stop, hold that position. Fantastic job. Number three, forwards reaching. Touch those boundaries, know where they are at. Put both hands up like I surrender. 
All right, take that left arm, reach it forwards as far as you can, like you are touching or reaching for the opposite wall. Hold that position as far as you can. Bring it back. Now switch with the right arm, reach so far forwards that the weight is on your toes. Bring it back, center your weights. Switch again, that left arm reach as far as you can, trying to keep your body straight. All right, bring that left arm back. Reach with the right arm. <laughs> try not to bend at the waist if you can. Try to keep that body straight. That makes it harder. Bring that arm back. The left arm, reach forwards, reaching out of your base of support. Bring it back. Let's go back to that right arm. Reach as far as you can. The weight is on the toes. Bring that arm back. The left arm, we are challenging our ankle strategies for that ankle strength, bring it back. The right arm, try to keep your body straight. Bring it back, those ankles are firing. To the left arm, reach and hold. Bring it back. The right arm, reach and hold. Try to keep your body straight. Trying not to bend at the hips. Bring it back. Whew, those ankles. Fantastic job. Number four, chest expansion with some head turns. Always touch your boundaries. Feel them. Make sure they're nice and close. All right, so here we are. We've done chest expansion before. We're going to straighten our arms. And you may want to watch me first because we're going to try our best to bring our, our um, chin down to our chest. When we open up, we're going to try to look forwards. When we close up, try to tuck that chin. If you get dizzy, just focus on the arms only. All right. So here we go. Arms are straight. Chin is tucked. Arms come out. Look straight ahead. Just straight ahead. Bring the arms in, tuck the chin. Arms out, look straight ahead. Arms in, tuck the chin. Arms out, straight ahead. Arms in, tuck the chin. Arms out, straight ahead. Arms in, tuck the chin. Arms out, straight ahead. Arms in, tuck the chin. Arms out, straight ahead. Arms in, tuck that chin. Fantastic job. Number five, feet together. Hold on to your walker, your chair, your device, and bring your feet close together as best you can. I know sometimes people get knees in the way. Just try. Feel your boundaries around you. Make sure you're still nice and close. Maybe you need to reset. <clears throat> All right. We know what we're doing. We're going to hold this position with me. We've been challenging the ankles and now we're challenging the hips. You may not know it, but you are. If this is too easy for you, close your eyes. But just hold this position with me for 45 more seconds.
fantastic job. Number six, heel raises. All right, you have your boundaries. Use your walker, your device, your chair to separate those feet. We are going to try to use your ankles, your lower body to propel yourself up onto your toes and then lower it down slowly. Try not to use the arms. The arms are there more for stability and balance. Try your best. We're gonna do one minute. If it's too easy for you, just practice on one leg for 10 and the other, switch back and forth. All right, here we go, one minute. Keep your knees straight. Do not bend at the knees. Try to propel from the ankles and not the arms. Fantastic job. Number seven, to target VOR. This is important for our balance, okay? The vestibular system. All right, so go ahead, feel those boundaries around you. You still have your device in front. I only move mine so that you can see the movements. Okay, here we go. This is a reminder. You're gonna look, there's gonna be two targets, one in your left visual field and one in the right. You are going to shift your eyes onto one target on the left side. Turn your head. Now only the eyes shift to your right target, then your head. It goes eyes, head, eyes, head. This is for balance, the vestibular system. One minute, try your best. So shift your eyes onto a target, head, eyes, head, eyes, head. Go at your own pace now. The faster you go, the more difficult it is. If you get dizzy, slow it down. Fantastic job. That was working on the vestibular system. The vestibulo-ocular reflex helps us with our dizziness and our balance. Number eight, eyes closed. All right, feel your boundaries nice and close. You have your surface in front. For one minute, let's try our best to close our eyes. Fantastic job. 
Number nine, blocking face. All right, we need to take that small step forwards. Hold on to your walker, your chair. Take that small step because we need to weight shift, but we need to stay close to those boundaries, okay? If you are at the wall, you do not need to step forwards. Only for people are at the corner. Okay, we're going to try our best to shift our weight onto the left leg. Take your left arm up, palm facing out. Take your right arm, palm facing in. The left arm is over the foreheads and the right arm over the abdomen. Now, try your best. Shift your weight center. We're gonna be switching those arms. Shift your weight to the right. Right arm is now on top, over the forehead. Left arm is on bottom. Slowly shift your weight. Shift it again and switch. This is a proprioceptive exercise similar to the um, concepts of Tai Chi. Center, switch, shift your weight right, hold it. Center, shift your weight left, hold it. Shift your weight center, to the right, hold it. Shift your weight center to the left, hold it. Shift your weight center to the right side, hold it. Shift your weight center to the left side. Hold it as best you can. Shift your weight center to the right side. Hold it. Shift your weight center. We have one more on each side. The left side, try to hold this position. The weight is on the left. Shift your weight center. Shift it to the right leg. Hold this position. Center. Fantastic job. Number 10, boxing. So much fun, right? All right, this time what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna have you punch with me at your own pace, punching, okay? And then I'm gonna randomly say duck, in which case at your own pace, I want you to duck from right to left. A duck is if a punch is coming to you. You gotta get out of the way. So you're gonna shift your weight right, bring it underneath the left and center. All right, at your own pace here, okay? So let's punch it out. Duck. Punch. Duck. Punch. Duck. Punch. Duck, punch, duck, punch, duck. Beautiful job, same exercise, but now we're going to try to duck from left to right. So the weight is gonna go on the left. You're gonna bring it down to the right and center, you're ducking from a punch. All right, at your own pace, punch it out. Duck. Punch. Obviously, the faster you duck, the better. Duck. Punch. 
duck, punch, duck, punch, duck, punch, duck, punch, duck. Fantastic job. Congratulations, you finished day 10, a third of the way through. Be proud of yourself. You're fantastic for not quitting and being here. Now, once again, if you enjoyed this session or any of the sessions, please press like below. It gives me feedback. It gives you YouTube feedback that it may play or populate these videos with YouTube searches. If you're finding benefits, if you're enjoying this, please share with others. That would help me out so much if you think this would benefit others. But congratulations, you did fantastic for being here. Please come back to day 11. Little steps together, we can make some big gains.